Most scientists study animals in order to understand humans. I study animals in order to understand animals. I always loved animals. I always read about animals. I always wanted to be with animals. I always caught any animal that I found despite the resistance of my parents. But only when I arrived at university and I encountered scientists, I realized that what I really want to be is a scientist that studies animals. Ecology and neuroscience are two of the most influential fields in biology today. They are essentially interested in two sides of the same coin, how animal behavior interacts with the environment and how the brain controls behavior. But there is very little transfer of ideas between them. This is the gap that my lab tries to narrow. We do this by developing miniature technology that allows us to study how animals make decisions in the wild. I call this approach neuroecology. I mostly study bats because of their unique characteristic. Bats are remarkable navigators. They live for dozens of years and they are extremely social, sometimes roosting in colonies with millions of other bats. Over the past decades, my lab has developed miniature sensors, the smallest of the world in their kind, in order to study bats in the wild. Our miniature devices include GPS sensors, microphones, accelerometers, and other physiological sensors. We use these devices in order to track the smallest animals ever tracked before. We found, for example, that a 30-gram bat can fly over 200 kilometers on a single night. We can take this data to create mathematical models for explaining animal decision-making. We further use our sensors in order to study how groups of bats hunt together, in order to understand how newborn pups learn to navigate, and in order to examine how bats deal with sensor interference. Our work also goes beyond basic science. We mimic bats' abilities in robotics and have developed robots that use sound in order to navigate, just like bats. We've also developed bat-inspired algorithms in order to assist farmers with precision agriculture. So one could say that we develop technology in order to study bats, and we study bats in order to develop technology.